And Joan, I'm going to go kind of back in time a little bit, if you don't mind. When you, you know, when you were hired, there was there was some things written and said about how you didn't have head coaching experience or or college coaching experience. I'm wondering if you ever think about that now, if it if it motivates you, fuels you at all, you know, to kind of I don't know prove prove those doubters wrong, or if you never even heard it, you know, I guess yeah, if you could speak to that. You cued there, Andrew. Um, of course, I've heard it. And, uh, you know, you, you're trying to get me, you know, to make this a, a, you know, I'm not saying you're trying to get me, but, um, you know, I'm not here to make this a big issue. Um, I just want to tell you this, that, you know, I've always been very extremely competitive since I started, you know, uh, playing sports, whether it was basketball, baseball. Um, I didn't play competitive football, but in our neighborhoods, we played against each neighborhood in a park in football, and it was tackle football where with no equipment. So um, that level of mental toughness has prepared me for whatever has been thrown in my direction. And, you know, yeah, I hear the doubters. You know, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, I like I don't hear the noise when I, before I got hired. And also still to this day, I hear the backhand compliments. Um, and am I, am I competitive? Of course I am. Um, but I'm also about get, improving and having a mind, the growth mindset on how I can get better to be the best version of myself to help prepare this team. And more importantly, to represent this fine institution uh, the best way possible. And that's what, that's my number one goal. That's what thrives me. That's what really, you know, excites me and then also yeah like you know I wake up in the middle of the night thinking about plays thinking about defensive situations thinking about how I can get better how I can help prepare the team because my I, I'm a perfectionist <laughs> and uh, I have that you know if you see my desk now you know I'm, I'm a very organized person but I, I you know, my wife say you know I have this type a personality uh, and that's how I'm wired. And I, I wouldn't have been able to last 19 years in the NBA if I didn't have a certain edge about me. Um, and to get back into coaching, you know, like for six years, you know, as assistant coach, you know, the, the Miami Heat staff. And also I took it upon myself to prepare myself to become a head coach someday. And so I worked at this and I'm going to continue to keep working. I love it. I'm keep, you know, like people don't always doubt or have their, as we would say, uh, um, opinions, uh, and they have every right to voice their opinion. See differently in the second half after watching film of the uh, Wisconsin game that you thought you guys did much better. Oh, we we did a better job defensively. Um, we also was able to cause some turnovers uh, with our press defense uh, that really helped um, get us back in the ball game. We also did a, a really good job of making simple plays. I know Franz uh, made a, a tough layup at the uh, down the stretch. And then Isaiah, we got offensive rebound by Hunter, offensive rebound kick out three offensive rebound put back by Hunter. You know, it was, it was part of the grit uh, that, you know, our guys really dug deep and uh, found during that second half. Coach, we'll move to uh, James Hawkins from James Hawkins from the Detroit News. Hey, Javon, a couple of questions for you. Um, Isaiah, he he's had uh, three straight 20 point outings and I know they they talk about, you know, seniors kind of seeing that light at the end of the tunnel um, down the stretch, I guess. Um, do you feel like that's been happening with him as he's kind of been picking things up as of late? Uh, he's been, you know, been special for us uh, throughout the season. And, um, you know, he's made some really good shots, uh, and, and very tough ones, too, uh, in the first half of the Wisconsin game. But uh, he, he's been in the gym working. Um, when you put in that work, uh, continue to grind through, you know, the tough – patches throughout the season and stay with the process and trust the process, um, good things happen. And, and that's what's been happening for him. Uh, he's in a great place. 